Hello folks, fellow YouTubers and friends. Uh, today I want to discuss, uh, do, a, do a little uh, take off on uh, cable, or as some people call it, wire rope. There it is. Okay, I've uh, taken the, the time to do a few things that take a little time to do, such as, for example, we're going to try to see if we can go a simple way of putting an eye splice in this cable. Now, when you have an eye splice on both ends of a cable, sometimes it's called a choker. And that's what we're going to be making quite a few of for the two-stage oscillator in the future. So to determine how large of an eye you want, you pull your cable around like so. Okay? Then you take a magic marker, or sharpie, and you mark the cable there. And then you send, find the center of the eye that you want and put a mark there. Then you open the cable up like so. Now, almost all cable is made of seven strands. Now, the number of pieces of wire in each strand determines how flexible the cable is. For example, guy cable, you'd never bend it. So consequently, most of the time, most guy cables are a single strand of wire with seven strands twisted to make a cable. But now, if you want to bend the cable, then each of the strands have to be made up of smaller strands. And you can get cable in many different uh, numbers. They always start off with seven because there's seven main strands. And then, for example, uh, you can get a seven five, which each strand is made up of five wires. Or you can get a, a, a seven eleven or a seven fifteen. Uh, this happens to be a seven nineteen, so it's very very flexible. Okay, there's seven strands, and each strand is made up of nineteen little bitty wires. Now, you take the seven strands, after you've marked where you want your eye, you take the seven strands, you divide them into three and four, and then you simply unroll them. Okay? All the way down to your last mark. Like so. The last mark. Now, your middle mark, what you do is you take your cable, and you wrap it around, oh, where's my middle mark? <laughs> yeah, right there. Wrap it around like so, and pull it through. And pull it through. Making sure that when you get it, that it lays in just like the original cable. Now you can see the mark is there and the mark is there. So it's all the way around, it's dead center. And then you simply wind it through. Each time making sure that it seats perfectly, just like the original. Okay. Wind it through. Again, each time making daggone sure it seats perfect. Oops. Sometimes they can get a little bit stiff. Now, I got one more twist. There it goes. Come through again. Yeah, and then, right, we bring this under here like that. It's got to come out to the side, and then we wind it around there, like that. And there we have an eye splice. The tailing is a little bit short, but this was just an, uh, an example anyway. There we go. Now, what you can do is, this is a little large, but it's mainly so that I can show you what it does. Now, on a cable, if, if I just put tape around this, it's plenty strong for light work. It'll, it'll more than withstand the half of the safe working load of this cable. But if you're going to pull a real hard pull on this thing, I mean, to its max, then you would want to put a cable clamp, a little smaller than this, of course, the right size. Now, the question of uh, 
how to put a cable clamp on the cable. All right, if you make an eye splice where you only got one live line, the other is dead. Okay? Now, this is your saddle and this is your cinch. And a good cowboy would never put a saddle on a dead horse. So therefore, the cable has to go into the cable clamp like so with the live line against the saddle and the dead line against the cinch. Does everybody clear on that? If you're any any questions whatsoever, uh, give me a holler, and uh, I'll try to go into more detail later. Everybody enjoy. Thank you, sir.